New at 5 tonight, Connecticut has now joined 17 other states and Washington, D.C. in filing a lawsuit against a new Trump administration decision. Overnight, a critical element of the Affordable Care Act was killed. The White House announcing that federal subsidies paid to insurance companies incentivizing them to cover lower income Americans would be stopped immediately. We are going to have great health care in our country. We're taking a little different route than we had hoped because getting Congress, they forgot what their pledges were. So we're going a little different route. But you know what? In the end, it's going to be just as effective and maybe it'll even be better. Those payments help lower co-pays and deductibles for about 7 million low-income Americans. And Connecticut's U.S. Senators responding to that news tonight. Senator Richard Blumenthal released a statement saying, quote, the president's continued sabotage of the ACA is mean-spirited, rash, irrational, and apparently boundless. Ending critical ACA subsidies will shred health care protections and shatter promises made to countless Americans. And Senator Chris Murphy says, quote, Let's call this what it is. The president is intentionally hurting every American because he's having a temper tantrum over Republicans' unwillingness to repeal the Affordable Care Act. Families in Connecticut will see their health care costs skyrocket because Donald Trump is having a bad week.